Unlock the secret. Button up one's lip. Hello, everyone. Welcome to our English language learning channel. Today, we're diving into a fascinating phrase that you might have heard but not fully understood. Button up one's lip. This expression is a colorful way to convey a message in English, and understanding it can add a unique flair to your communication skills. So, let's get started and unlock the secrets behind this intriguing phrase. Button up one's lip is an idiomatic expression in the English language. It means to stop talking or to keep silent about something. The phrase paints a vivid picture of sealing one's mouth as tightly as buttoning up a garment, ensuring that no words escape. It's often used in situations where silence is preferred over speaking, whether to keep a secret, avoid spreading rumors, or simply not to say something inappropriate or unnecessary. While the exact origin of button up one's lip might not be clear, it belongs to a family of idioms that play on the theme of keeping silent or being discreet. The imagery of using a button a common tool for fastening clothes, suggests a deliberate action to close or seal one's mouth, highlighting the importance of control over one's words. Understanding these idiomatic expressions gives us insight into the creative and sometimes humorous ways that the English language deals with the concept of silence. Button up one's lip can be used in various contexts, but it's crucial to know when and how to use it appropriately. It's typically used in informal situations or casual conversations. For example, when someone is tempted to share a secret that should remain confidential. To advise someone to refrain from making comments that might be harmful or unnecessary. In a light-hearted way, among friends, when suggesting that someone is talking too much or about to say something they shouldn't. It's important to use this phrase carefully, as it can come across as rude or dismissive in the wrong context. To help you better understand how to use button up one's lip, let's look at some examples. I know you're excited about the surprise party, but you need to button up your lip until it's time. He realized that to avoid further trouble, he had to button up his lip and not say anything more. My grandmother always said, sometimes it's wiser to button up your lip than to speak your mind. These examples show the versatility of the phrase in conveying the need for silence or discretion. And that wraps up our exploration of the phrase, button up one's lip. We hope this video has shed some light on this unique expression and how you can use it to enhance your English communication. Remember, Language is not just about words and grammar. It's also about the colorful idioms and expressions that give it flavor. Thank you for watching. And don't forget to button up your lip in situations where silence is golden. See you in our next video.